Thank you. And thank you for coming to the screening of Triumph Bonneville Surf Trip. Now this film was inspired by motorcycle promo videos and those lifestyle portraits painted for each new model. Now some manufacturers like to dominate discussion with this breed of video. They aren't interested in content that doesn't fall into line, fall into these vicarious, ridiculous storylines. Ciao, Paolo. I was wondering if I could borrow a bike. Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and I'd like to review a scramble. Rivederci. Yes, uh, this is Valentino, uh, your countryman. Uh, I want to have a good race with Mark Marquez to be competitive tomorrow, uh, but uh, my Yamaha is not very funny. Uh, could I borrow one of your bikes? Honestly, dude, I think the only way we're gonna get a certain Italian stallion is if we prove Fortnite can make a promo style video. Okay, first, we're gonna need a character. And Triumph is friendly enough, and they have eight characterful motorcycles to lend. Eight. And the classic, the cafe, cruiser, and custom. The cheap one, the fast one, the one from Jurassic World. The only Bonneville that I wouldn't want them to send is... Shit. A T100. Let's shoot close-ups from the other side, dude, just because we don't want anyone to see there's a single front disc. The braking feel is a bit wooden. More like just super slow to stop. <laughs> All right, uh, we also lost the center stand, passenger grab handles, heated grips, and LED running lights off the T120. Just shoot that like super close, we'll flare the lens and no one will be able to tell. Nice. Well, we gotta make this 900cc engine look bigger because it's a downgrade from the T120's 1200. Um, grab the wide angle lens, eh? Huge power plant. Okay, that is everything Triumph chiefed out on. I am absolutely soaked, dude. Let's just go back to the studio. We'll use that hipster flash to draw attention to the good stuff. Bolt-on badging, traditional Bonnie grip pads, chrome accents. This thing is a fake carburetor on the T120, eh? I think I prefer it this way. Fake carbs are lame. Respect for the weldless, seamless exhaust shroud. Same for the properly gorgeous dash and blood red sparker caps. Okay, that's it, buddy. Let's go shoot corners. <laughs> okay. Is it just me or is that just the best stock exhaust sound? It's the twin pea shooters, dude. They mingle sound waves like the Vienna Philharmonic. It's like blah 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 Yeah, liquid gold at a slow boil. You gotta lean lower, dude. I can't lean any lower, man. I'm on the peg. Let's just tilt the camera to look more intense that way. Yeah, that looks angled. Now, I've said it before, KYV springs do not feel like budget suspension. I mean, these are tuned to heal the gouges of a city street, not carve gouges in the canyons. Even still, it's weirdly stable. Only adjustability is preload on the twin springers. Well, that's good because every promo has a two-up scene, right? With like supermodels, right? Eh, just put on a helmet, dude. No one's gonna notice. Well, the bike rides like we're weightless supermodels. And the 54 horsepower is low, but the 59 torques are lower. Most of them come below 3,000 RPM like a Harley, so the engine feels bigger than it is. It just floats us featherweights forward like riding a wave. Well, we're grabbing a ferry to the coast because every motorcycle promo has surfing in it. Part of that ideal lifestyle you buy into when you buy the motorcycle, I guess. Did you buy the bike though? I was wrong about the T100. It's the best looking Bonneville. Not much more expensive than the cheapo Street Twin. 
It's also $2,000 and 10 kilograms lighter than the T120, though it feels like 100 kilograms lighter to ride. That's an awfully long road to the ferry, dude. Impromptu drag race. Okay, this is classic promo video. A pretty girl drops a conveniently branded flag. I take off on the Bonnie, bang through gears. One, two, three, four, five. I'll time that all out to the beat from some kitschy song about freedom or self-discovery or whatever. No, not even close, dude. I'm gonna try and fuse the high torque engine to get away with the weirdest, wonderfulest ratios. Right, give her. First long enough for all of city riding, and then second. Third, very short so I can play with my shift lever in the canyons, and then fourth, fifth, long again to make up for the lack of the T126th gear. Well, we always run it to the limiter for a tack shot, but in real life, now you wouldn't. And the parallel twin is so mellow, asking it to run above 5,000 is just like, asking a pothead to run a 5,000 meter sprint. The performance is underwhelming and he'll shake and complain the whole time. You know, that ain't the most exciting top end. And the transmission is a box full of neutrals, but I never wanted more oomph for longer legs from that little engine. Well, our engine's closer to the original Bonnevilles anyway, which is kind of the point. Of course, we won't get to make that point. This is a promo video. The point is surfing. Yeah, hey, 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 buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, where are we gonna put that? Uh, I don't know, actually. In the promos, they always just appear at the beach. Oh, we can use that, actually. And say we take the famous Raleigh Free photo from the Bonneville Salt Flats, maybe the original 100 mile per hour T100 from 1939, and make this collage of hipster heritage pics, use it to slip in the boring spec stuff. And top speed only 10 miles quicker than it was eight decades ago. Reliable as taxes, service intervals 60% longer than the bigger Bonnies. I mean, nobody really wants to wade into that stuff anyway. They normally do the cliche running into the water shot in bikinis, and they normally have actual waves to ride, but they shoot promo videos in California. This is Canada, and we picked a very cold, very calm day to go surfing. Ugh. How sexy was that? Oh, so cold, man. Fire up that bike. Well, to make the engine look authentically old, Triumph carved fake cooling fins and crammed the radiator in between the frame rails. The result is piss poor heat dissipation and it is so warm on my legs. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, Triumph refused to plug the T120's ride modes into this ride by wire throttle, but I think they did leave traction control switchable. Uh, yes, they did. Now we can ride here. Yeah. Yo. Five million star hotel room. F9 production budget very high. <laughs> yeah. You got a plan for letting wet firewood do? Hmm. Oh, thread off filler cap. Well, that's old school. 18% better fuel economy than the T120. It should give us a 300 kilometer range. Yeah, we should have more than enough to get back to the ferry. All right. Last shot, team. 
We're gonna pretend that we are impossibly good friends, having an authentic time. Certain Italian brands always end promos that way. So we'll tell a story and y'all laugh really hard. Bonnevilles aren't the most exciting bikes. Now they have this one killer feature. If you close your eyes and imagine riding a motorcycle and then freeze, well, that is exactly the ergonomic of a Bonnie. And that's why they feel so intuitive. That's why everybody loves them. Now laugh or you won't get any dinner. <laughs> right? <laughs> Authentic. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so, without further ado, Triumph Bonneville Surf Trip. 